Hey, if you're looking for a way to unlock the power of artificial intelligence and specifically ChatGPT to just become more productive, to learn faster, to get more done, then I'm excited to tell you about our extension Chrome GPT. Uh, we've been working hard to add some really cool features to make it more useful um, and to really unlock the power of it for you. And so I'm excited to share a little bit more with you about the extension. If you go to chromegpt.net, you can learn all about it. And uh, I'm going to actually on the website right now, I'm going to take you to our features page where you can see some of the things that we have built into this product. Uh, one of the core features, obviously, is the, be, the ability to, to be able to use ChatGPT on any website, wherever you are. And so what you'll find is that after you have installed our extension and you signed in and you have an active subscription, you'll be able to see and use ChatGPT. An icon is going to load on the bottom left side of any page that you visit. And if you click on that, you're going to be able to begin interacting with ChatGPT. And so let's take just a second to take a look at what that looks like. I've got a prompt that I've already written and I'm going to paste it in there. And to send that message and to get a response, we're just going to click this green arrow. So let's give it a moment, give it a time, give it a moment to think, answer a question. So our prompt is, how can I use ChatGPT to become more efficient? And so just like that, we have seven ways that uh, we can use ChatGPT to become better at task management, time management, goal setting, and all kinds of things. And so um, this is really a, a powerful product, and I'm excited to show you a little bit more about some of the features here. So obviously the core feature is the ability to talk to ChatGPT, whether you have a question about something that you're reading, or maybe you're on a website and you have a random thought and you just wanted to interact with that idea or brainstorm an idea or get some feedback on that, uh, you can do that without even having to leave your page. And so you can close this. You can also start a new conversation by clicking this arrow. And now we could start another conversation if we wanted to, but we're gonna close it for now because I wanna show you the um, menu that we've built into this. If you click on our icon, our pop-up will show up and you have some things here that, uh, that you can do. The first thing I wanna show you is that you can hide Chrome GPT icon. And so if you're on a web page, sometimes there's menu items, there's things, and maybe this, uh, you don't want this to be visible uh, on that particular page that you're on. You can click our icon and click hide icon on the page, and that icon will go away until you turn this back off, okay? Now, if you have one of our subscription plans that gives you access to ChatGPT4 tokens, you can also utilize that by turning that on. And now when you open up this chat box and you begin interacting with ChatGPT, you're not using the standard GP3 model, the older model. You're using the, the latest and the greatest and the most recent GPT4 models that are available. You also have a running tally of your tokens. And so the particular subscription plan that I'm on comes with a million GP3 uh, tokens, GPT3 tokens every month. I've used 11,000 uh, of those tokens and it comes with 100,000 GPT4 tokens and I've used 785 of those. And so you're, you're able to keep an eye on your usage. And if you um, don't wanna use GPT4 at the moment, you can turn that off. Um, the next thing I want to point out here is our prompt library. This is a really helpful feature. So if you click on this, it's going to take you to uh, a place here, your prompt library, where you can save some of your most useful, most time-saving, uh, most just powerful prompts that you use on a regular basis. And so I've given a list of five here just as an example of things that you could do and things that I personally use. And so one of those things is to summarize articles, uh, get explanations for things that might be hard for me to understand as I'm reading or learning something that's new. Who is this? I can get a short bio of a person that I'm reading about and, and an article. Maybe sometimes names are mentioned and you don't know who those per people are. You can translate things from one language to another. If you want to do that, you can create social media posts. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are, are uh, a an unlimited amount of ideas of prompts that that you could um, that you could create and you could save and and I'll show you how to do that real quick. If we wanted to add a new prompt, all you need to do is click Add New Prompt, 
you'd give it a title and this will be important here in a moment and I'll show you why but uh, let's say that we want to um, rewrite something so, you know sometimes we are writing blog posts and we write something down and but maybe we want to be able to highlight and ask ChatGPT to rewrite it in a more professional tone so or it could be rewrite email let's do that because that's actually a more probably a more common use case please rewrite this email to sound more professional okay and you click on save and now you'll be able to use that prompt over and over again and let's take a look at what that actually looks like to to use one of these prompts so I've got some just sample uh, websites pulled up here. This is the Mozilla Developer Network website. I'm on an article here. and Let's say I'm interested in this article, but I don't necessarily have time to read it right now. I want to save time and just get a summary of the article. I can right-click on the text that I've highlighted. You've got ChatGPT options here, and I can click on my summarize. And these are the titles that we created. So we just created a rewrite email, but we're going to click summarize. And so now in just a second, we're going to get a summary of this article from ChatGPT. And so you can see it's really like having your own personal assistant at your fingertips uh, who can summarize the articles for you, brainstorm ideas for you, explain things uh, for you. And so let's look at another example here. Let's say you want to learn about the stock market and you're seeing about all these chart analysis types. And so what we're going to do is we're going to right click or highlight all that, right click it. Now we have our prompts, saved prompts, and we want an explanation of what these terms mean. And so right there on the page, our pop-up opens and you get an explanation from ChatGPT, sorry, ChatGPT on all of those terms that we have just highlighted and asked it to give us an explanation for. So Hopefully you can begin to see the power of that. Now, one last example, let's say maybe you have a social media account where you post about sports news. And so here's a recent article about soccer or football. If you're in uh, South America, Central America, you can right click on that, chat GPT and say, give me a social media post about this. Okay. And now I've got a social media post about this, uh, the terrible season that Manchester United is having at the moment and a thought provoking question, which was the way I set up that prompt. Okay, so these are just three ways that you can use the prompt library, um, but there's really an unlimited amount of things that you can do with this and it's a, a really cool product and I hope that you'll try it out. Um, I wanna show you one last thing that's really interesting here as well, something that we think is important is what we've seen uh, from other extensions. A lot of times, um, you know, it's, it's hard to have a history of your previous chats. And so we've been really careful to make sure that we include a history of all of your chats, uh, your most recent chats at least. And you're, you're gonna be able to click on these and continue those conversations. And so if we were to click on this, it's gonna open up that conversation again and we can pick it right back up where we left it. And so um, if you have a, also if you have a chat that you no longer need or you don't think is actually that useful, you can delete it and now it's gone from your chat history. And so we've really tried to build a really robust product that is going to uh, help you get the most out of your browsing experience and, and really not just browsing, but learning, being productive. And that's, that's really where the power of ChatGPT lies, is to help you get more done and learn more in less time. And I think that the Chrome GPT is a wonderful tool to help you do that. So hope you'll give it a try. If you like it, give us a five-star review. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks.